George Lucas could never have known that his space opera would turn into one of the most well-known and profitable movie franchises in history. If he had, the director might have spent a little bit more time filming the original series to make sure some of the more entertaining mistakes were left on the cutting room floor. Luckily, that was not the case, which means fans can spot each and every hard-to-miss error. Even after all these years, Luke Skywalker's big screen adventure still has a few surprises. Here are Screen Rant's 10 Star Wars movie mistakes you missed. Luke's Ghost It's no secret that some of George Lucas's improvements on the original film weren't popular with fans. But just as many new mistakes seem to slip into new additions. When Luke's aunt and uncle wake up to find him already out searching for R2-D2, there's something off about the shot of the empty homestead. What looks like rolling film is actually a still image, with a ghostly image of Luke visible in one of the doorways. Was Skywalker a force ghost the entire time and fans just never knew? Creepy. Wired lightsabers. The weapons of the Jedi Knights were more than cutting edge, but on set, they were actually a clever use of old-fashioned tech. The swords had three sides covered in reflective tape, which would rotate to give off a shimmering effect. It worked wonders at the time, except when Obi-Wan and Darth Vader first face off. The white power cord is clearly visible running from the Jedi's saber up his sleeve. Rebel Editing George Lucas didn't have every detail of his story down pat before filming. A young Jedi named Darth Vader, he betrayed and murdered your father. Which meant a few scenes had to be edited out or trimmed down in post-production. When Luke is reunited with his friend Biggs before the attack on the Death Star, the commanding officer shows up to meet his newest pilot. The man originally made an offhand comment about knowing Luke's father, but knowing what problems that would cause, Lucas decided to edit it out, obscuring the cut with an unknown person walking in front of the camera. Unfortunately, R2-D2's sudden jump in the background made sure the cut would stand out for all time. Dusty Saber The sword fighting choreography improved over the course of the series, but in the first movie, actors Alec Guinness and David Prowse took their duel as seriously as possible. Even though they were told constantly not to slam their stun swords together for fear of breaking them, they couldn't hold back. There's supposed to be beams of energy in the movie, but with every hit, it's easy to see clouds of dust flying off. These days, it hopefully just adds to the tension. Colorless Droids The special effects team basically created the entire industry with Star Wars, so some mistakes can be forgiven. These days, we know that if a character is dressed in blue, a green backdrop will be needed to add in effects. In the first movie, that fact slipped by. So with every shot of R2-D2 riding aboard Luke's X-Wing, it's hard to miss his blue paint job suddenly turned black, effectively rendered see-through thanks to the blue screen used by the crew. Luke's Lips George Lucas may add in aliens or boulders wherever he chooses, but what happens if you want to add in a line of dialogue that an actor never even spoke? That's the problem with Luke's arrival on the planet Dagobah. When he explains that he's there to search for Yoda, his extra line, If he even exists, wasn't spoken by actor Mark Hamill. The special effects team tried to cheat by altering the darkness of the actor's mouth, but there was just no way to fake it. If he even exists. Jedi Knights are apparently gifted ventriloquists. <laughs> Tipping Walkers. No Star Wars fan will forget the adrenaline rush, or the laughter, of seeing a massive Imperial Walker brought down with a single rope in the Battle of Hoth. But Luke proves he doesn't need anything but a lightsaber and a thermal detonator to bring one to its knees. It's an impressive stunt, but a little less fantastic when you notice the stick being used to simply push up on one of the walker's back feet to tip it on its side. Familiar Asteroid Every director knows the value of using old or unused footage to make a different scene pop. And the asteroid field of The Empire Strikes Back is famous for including everything from potatoes to old running shoes. But one asteroid is a bit more familiar. Apparently, the effects team decided to repurpose a shot of the Millennium Falcon flying through the field, applying the view from inside the ship's cockpit. But keep an eye on the asteroid flying in from the bottom corner, and you'll notice the unmistakable shape of Han Solo's ship flying by. The effects team managed to blur out the details of the hull, but its barrel roll makes it impossible to miss. What's my line? When the Falcon finds a home in a massive space worm, a tremor sends Princess Leia into the captain's arms. Captain, being held by you isn't quite enough to get me excited. It's hard to know how many times the actors had to perform the scene, but Harrison Ford was clearly the first one to get bored. When Carrie Fisher tells her co-star that she's less than excited, Ford silently mouths her entire line along with her. Watch your head. These days, it's rare to see a CG effect or object actually pop through on top of an actor's performance, since attention to detail has never been higher. But back in the early days, layering one effect onto another shot was a time-consuming process. 
So when Darth Vader's shuttle was rendered a little too low on the landing pad of Endor's moon, the mistake was left in. Audiences now get to enjoy seeing Vader's black helmet passing through the nose of his ship on every view. Nothing more will I teach you today. All right, so what do you think of our list? Did we miss any of your favorite errors, goofs, or mistakes in the Star Wars series? Let us know in our comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.